Den anden en, den er ikke han er. Og kæner han er. Jeg kæner han er, der har den ikke sikkert ikke godt. Og tror bare, der er det hele dagen. We're here at one of the places where the uh, old people still tell the story of 19 generations ago, which we, we refer to as Nache, which is uh, 102 years uh, is a generation. And so it is clear, uh, pretty much uh, 1900 years ago that the Dene came into this area for a short period of time. And they built the houses that are the type of houses that the towering house people built, which we call the Kia'ani. And this is uh, the way that they constructed their dwellings. They had, uh, they probably had them probably about maybe eight or nine feet high, and they had flat roofs. And the opening for entering the dwellings was at the top. And at the top was where the ladders came in. And there was ladders that would go up to the side from the outside, and that would make it so they could uh, walk to the opening in the top of the dwelling. So each one of these homes or rooms, as they have referred to, had the entrance from the top. And they have fireplaces for each one of the uh, room areas. And then they have holes for, at the bottom where the air could come into the structure and pull the smoke out through the smoke hole. The smoke hole was called chelate. The smoke hole was also used as the entrance. And at the top, because they had a uh, covering of the soil, the vegetation would begin to grow. So there would be vegetation on the roof. And that's what they called chelatha or chelaye, or sometimes that's how, uh, what they call it in modern times. And so these are the structures. But here when the Dene, early, very early Dene came some 2,000 years ago, they came across the flatlands, the flatlands they could look out over the horizon for many, many, many miles. It was just flat. But when they came to a ravine such as this, this is about 15 miles of ravine where there's natural springs and where there's firewood and herbs and that that they could use. And it is also a place where there was a lot of uh, wildlife, uh, deer and antelope and also there was many eagles and various birds and that even turkey was available to to the people in this area they made settlements they lived in those structures for a period of time and then from here then they went and continued their journey to the to the west until they could see the mountains off in the distance and when they found the mountains and they found also the rivers and where the rivers flowed to the real grand of the south and the uh, rivers that would flow to the west and the uh, place that they call the hills of water Topatataskit but uh, through the years they call it uh, with a singular re reference where they say Topataskit that means a hill of water but in the original telling it is the hills of water Topatataskit which is where the mountains were covered with snow and as the snow melted, then it would, the, the rivers and the, the water would flow into the rivers and so on. So there's a lot of history in that. It's being lost, and the Dene don't realize that even today, other people are given credit for having these structures and that. But these are the structures that were made by the towering house people, the Kea'ani. It's built on the same principles than that, that later on, the way that the uh, Dene built their homes. Now originally what we were told is when they, the Ne were told by the holy people, move away from those structures that you made out, make out of rock and mud. Because when the earth moves, they cave in and they will harm you. Watch the animals and the creatures and how they built their homes. And so it was that the uh, Hogan, Hogan, which is the extension of mother earth, is what they used to call it. And so that is the, where the word comes from, Hogan. And so those are the types of houses they built. And originally the, the original Hogan was with the uh, wood structures and that, that looked like a modern Chaho or Ramada shade house. But the poles went all the way around it and the entrance was from the top. And it was again still referred to as Chelige, where they had the smoke hole. And so the uh, history of our dwellings 
and are references to various places. All this area is called Hakahutkev, and it's just flatlands that you can see for miles and miles in all directions. And these are one of the places that the settlements were that they were sent people out to the north and out to the south and out to the west. For several days they would travel in those areas and come back and report what they had found. And the stories are contained in the oral history of Ardenne. And we need to listen to the way that they told these stories. And we need to recapture the information. The uh, stories that we are told in the oral history of the uh, what is in great error called the emergence. They did emerge. That is very true. That is, when we talk about emerging, we think of people in large groups coming up out of the earth, out of the, uh, the lower world. But when we understand what they were referring to, this is one of those places where they are below the flat surface and then coming out. And uh, it's not unlikely that our people, our ancient, very ancient people, may have lived here for maybe 50 years and uh, before they continued their journey. But it was that they were continually going west. And the story is that the holy people are the ones that brought the people from the east and they went west. And when we began to populate the uh, higher elevation areas on the plateaus south of the Rocky Mountains, for a long time it was called the Netcha. And many people from different parts of the continent came there. They were seeking the place that was called the Netcha. All these different clan families and clan groups and that came together in that one place. And it was a very large area. We uh, have uh, given the information that the, the Neh occupied the major portion of the lands that was west of the Rio Grande. South of the, uh, what they referred to as which is the ridge that is from Grand Junction going west, the book cliffs that extend right down to the, uh, the Great Basin, out to the coast, and then to the south, of course, is the Sonora Desert. The Sonora Desert is the uh, place that's called Neahotni. Neahotni Le is the, in reference to the Sonora Desert because it was uh, very difficult to pass. But our people knew of people in that that came from that area as well, who became the Neh. And so the various groups of people that became the Neh are many. But there are some that never became the Neh. That also has to be understood. And the, uh, the Neh lived in the area for many hundreds of years. And they kept a friend friendly relationship with those people that did not become the Neh. And there were really not all that many. And it is that later on, of course, they disperse because of various uh, disagreements or changing of the ceremonies and so on. The people went off and went off to the north, the far distant north, the far distant south. And some even came back towards the east. And this is just one example of the things that we need to share with everyone. And those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Is she not states at the Nes Nutty Nakata? Near the net and then Lady, she could only Kuchukujo ha a to dun the ajo. Are they the hatting? Nanny de condi had got her tail at the Geneva, eh? I have a car and na. Eat down she, eh? I had the ark, eh? Go she had so go. But cart and na. Condi, eh? I had the holds ah. Tota Hono, Chizo da Hono, Azeda da Hono, Dadonal, Dosha dat, eh, de Beta dat, eh, that the Hono lady con a co, conetti con has anigi, eh, yadi 
Haganda Zilda, Kibakia Anne, Nanigi Hiti, Nikinetti Tatas, Nanigi Hik, Aa Con Keda, which is E with the Cushin Dahai. Kodoshi AID, Bandas, there's Tanti, Kaya, Naho Consul. Aro Shata Ajo, Aroha Air Ajoko. A Kodi Kodo AID, Keda, which is Oda, the Cushin Winda Hai. Kodoshi E had at least na. A I didn't labor large. A K and now hot on Cordodi, a Josita, Joe Caho, Joe Nero, and Lady Sist. That's a son. Topata task at the Geneva Bay, the GG. Aro A I A a quest, the son Anigidi, Ha Artic or the Tiki A I D. Sis Hat in the Geneva, the GG. A co A I be a husband. A good ah could egg eat egg a yadi hand at Nas dear. A dot hot and then egg eat a. A shin a yad bidget the bada jilda. A co a good egg eat a hand there. Could no a yad eat a hat in Nado did or other did a yad but on a house on the day with egg eat out. The rain tart the quick she had kate a hona. A good eddy clay a jin nana had an. A dot day it all a yadi ga co. Kate out just oh. The cushion dach, I don't have that is na. I could ego a hitty hane, and does the a hitty hane about that at each day.